Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fallout. We're back in Shady Sands and we're going to have a bit of an explore, see if we can work out what's going on and, you know, I forgot it's not WASD. Right, so. What is this? A dog. What is this? Peasant. Can I talk to this peasant? How are you? I hear rad scorpions killed again last night. Interesting. What about this woman? You see a peasant. Hello. Don't bother me. I've got nothing to say to you, stranger. I hear rad scorpions killed again last night. Got any Brahmin burgers? Nice to see you. Interesting. She has a... Oh. This pillar is a showpiece of Shady Sands Square. It tells stories to remind the people of hope and peace. Hello, peasant. Let's have a look in this building, shall we? Right, so... Is it... No. You see a pretty clay vase. You see a nicely handmade, a nice, a nicely made table, handmade, but it looks much nicer than any table you've seen before. You see a chair, a very nice looking chair. Hi. What's this? You see nothing out of the ordinary. A functional wood burning stove. A finely crafted clay pot. You see a bed, a very nice looking bed. Well, oh, very complimentary of the uh, the people of Shady Sands and their craftsmanship. You see a bookshelf. You search the bookshelf and you find a scout's handbook. A book on the methods and ideals of uh, of scouting. Very practical information regarding outdoor life. Well, I think I'll take that. Is there like... No, there's just... it's. I can search that one area of the bookshelf. And that counts as the whole bookshelf. There's nothing along this side, is there? Nope. Well, I feel like I've got everything of value from this place. What about up here? What's this big building? I'm looking for a guy named... Oh, I can't remember what his name is. Who have we got here? You see one of the Shady Sands guards. One of the Shady Sands guards. A short, stocky man. And one of the Shady Sands guards. What do the Shady Sands guards say? Welcome, stranger. We don't see your kind often. Why not? Look, Shady Sands don't need your kind from the hub or junk town or wherever you came from. We do pretty good by ourselves. The last trader from the hub sold us a malfunctioning irrigation pump. We had... We... we we've had it with your dirty deals. Uh, you've got it all wrong. I'm not like that. Well, maybe you aren't. You seem to talk a little different to me. I tell you what... You should go talk to Aradesh. He's in the center of town. Okay, thanks. Who are these guys? Because... So we've got... Uh, uh, thanks, bye. Not so fast. This is a small com community. We don't see strangers often. And we don't need them to... Uh, if you get my meaning... If you don't have a good reason to be here, you'd better on just keep moving. Hey, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. I wasn't saying that you was gonna. You'd just better leave us alone. I'm trying not to make trouble. I don't want to start a fight here. Hello, stranger. You look like you're new here. What's your name? I'm Bernard. Good to meet you. I'm Ian. Is this the guy we were looking for? I know there was some guy that was part of a caravan. Uh, what do you do here, Ian? 
I was a guard for the merchants of the hub, however I was shot during a raid by bandits. I've been staying here since the people helped me out, helped me recover. Still, my knowledge of the outside world and my experience makes me useful here. Shady Sands is my home now. Occasionally I even get to visit Junk Town or the hub to do some trading since I'm the only person here who's ever really left town. Um, I'm sorry to hear about your injury. Thanks. I've been healing up well, thanks to Raslo. What can I help with? Um, tell me about the raiders. There are three groups: Khans, the Khans, the Vipers, and the Jackals. They're pretty much they pretty much hate each other, but they raid Shady Sands. Tell me more about Shady Sands. Shady Sands is a small but self-sufficient community. The only trouble is. Uh, here is with ba the bandits and the rad scorpions. Why are the rad scorpions trouble? Rad scorpions are very dangerous. They have a poisonous stinger in their tail and they're very quick. Aradesh has been trying to find a way to get rid of them. If you feel brave, you could talk to Aradesh about them. Thanks. But I'm not done with you. How about... Tell me about... Tell me about Seth. Seth is a very brave fighter. He occasionally goes to the Red Scorpion Caves to kill a few Red Scorpions, but they always wind up coming back. There's just There are just too many for him to fight. Are the Red Scorpions really that dangerous? Yep. <laughs> uh, can you give me directions to the Hub and Junk Town? The Hub is a big trading center far south of Shady Sands. It's run by several different caravan groups of merchants. The water merchants, the crim Crimson Caravan, and the Far the Fargo Traders. Junk Town is a little is a little south and a ways west. It's smaller, but still a good place to drop in for a drink. It's overseen by a fellow by the name of Killian Darkwater, the local shopkeeper, sheriff, and mayor. Thanks. Could you help me out a bit? Your experience would be useful. Hmm. Tempting offer. This, since this place gets boring. Tell you what, standard rate, 100 caps and you got yourself a deal. How about a piece of action, a piece of the action instead? No, I don't think so. Come back when you've got some caps. Okay, I'm going to come back and talk to him when we've got some caps. And by that, I mean I'm going to come back and talk to him once we've stolen some caps. Was you say anything here worth stealing? But this appears to be the loo. Is it? Tell me. A crude but effective toilet. There, they say. Uh, there are some leaves dropped into the hole to manage the odor. Leaves from what? There are no trees. You see Tandy. She doesn't look like a, a regular Hi. person. I heard there oh was God. a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy. What's yours? My name is well, Bernard. How do you like our little town? Bored yet? Um. Hell yes, there's nothing to do here but watch the Brahmin mate. Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this this must be hell for you. If you're so bored, why not leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. Worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Tough situation. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure, though? I guess. I've never been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. So, what you need? What else is around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. No problem. Thanks. Anything else? What's going on around we here? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Have you heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. Just no stuff. Problem. Anything else? How do you like it yeah, here? It's okay, I guess. I mean, it is home and all. But it's so boring. You know, I want to see the world. Are you so bored? Leave? Sure, Oh I my guess. god, I'm... I've never been cycle. out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. 
Well, so, that's about it. Well, thanks for your time. Thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. Bye. Well, interesting to talk to you, but you didn't really have much to say. I'm Raslo. Can I help you? Uh, no. I not right now. But it was nice meeting you. You look distraught. Are you in need of assistance? No, I am not in need of healing. Okay, so I guess we got this one building to check out then. Hi. Peasant, I haven't been attacked by raiders recently. Lucky, I guess. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Uh, who are you? I'm not going to tell you all about my mission, but I'm going to say I'm from a small village to the west of here. I'm just exploring and mean you no harm. I know of no village to the west. Surprise! <laughs> have you been through the mountains west of here? Uh, well, to my regret, I have not. Which begs the question, how did you make that passage? It was pretty tough, but I made it. Yes, hmm, yes, yes, yes. I shall believe you for now. But we do not trust easily, especially those who might be dangerous. Know that Seth and I will be watching you. Okay. Greetings. What may I help you with this fine day? Shady Can you tell me about Shady Sands? Much like a family, one that keeps to itself. What kind of things do you have to do? What kind of things do you have around here? The gardens are on the south side. The Brahma pens are north. Although the smell is, I fear, quite intense this time of year. Anything we are else? small and self-sufficient, so there is little else to tell. Hmm. Thank you. Thanks. Can I ask you a few more questions? Certainly. What do you wish to know? What well, can you tell me about other towns around here? Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Thanks. I, uh, can I ask you a few Certainly. more questions? What do you wish to know? What's going on around here? Oh my, yes. Great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. Go on. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Well, I'll help you get rid of these things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please, talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Okay. Roslo, who are you? I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got... To get this meal ready. Hmm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Why, thank you. I'm sure you, you will enjoy it. Thank, uh, thanks for the compliment. I'm going to tell my friends about you. When there's so little going on, in, in, you're just you're just a peasant. When there's so little going on in town, that someone complimenting you on your cooking is big news. <laughs> Uh, Raslo, can I help you? Uh, what do you know about rad scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American Emperor Scorpion. Contrary to med my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent, not diluted as, it, as I would have expected. Seth has been hunting them. 
which helps for some helps some of my tests. Now, how such large creatures can even be possible by natural evolution or even by radiation-induced mutation is beyond me. You seem well educated. What are you doing here? Doc Morbid in Junktown taught me some. And just because we live in stone huts doesn't mean we're any less intelligent or educated. Have a nice day. Oops, may have touched a nerve. Uh, what do you know about red scorpions? Not too much. Seth has been hunting them, which helps with some of my tests. Anything else? Uh, they seem sensitive to light, nocturnal. If I could get a sample of their poison, especially the, the venom-producing sac located in their tail, I could create an anti-venom. Thanks. Right. Well. Let's check out the fields, shall we? Because I'm not quite feeling brave enough to attack the, uh... To attack the rad scorpions just yet. These all seem to be unnamed people. You see a water supply to Shady Sands. This is too little water to supply with your vault. Well, that's a shame. You have to say, I got nothing to say to you, stranger. Well, that's nice. Nice to, <laughs> nice to see you. We still need to expand irrigation. What about you? Welcome to Shady Sands, stranger. What's the deal with this place? We are a true community. We all work and share together. How do you survive out here? We have farms and irrigation. We herd Brahmin, and everybody contributes their skills to making something useful. Who's your leader? Aradesh is our current elder. With his experience, he helps lead the community. Hmm, bye. <laughs> Brahmin sure do stink this time of year. Ha! Um, what's the deal with this place? Yep, you say the same things. So is this what they said was broken? Can I can I try and use my repair skill on this? I cannot repair that. Hello. Uh, you're not overly helpful. I have a feeling like the first thing I need to deal with is these rad scorpions, but I'm not feeling massively confident in dealing with these rad scorpions. Also, how are the rad scorpions coming in and killing your Brahmin when your Brahmin are kept way inside? Moo to you too. day. So if I go pit. Yeah, so the only thing I've got at the moment is The only thing I've got at the moment appears to be that um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna have to go take on those rad scorpions then. Maybe if I take on those rad scorpions, I'll have enough money to hire Ian.
Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, Vault 13. Come on, Bernard. Was it Seth? Why can I not get there? Because I'm not on the screen. <laughs> it's just not quite enough. You don't know quite enough to be able to... Uh... Right, uh, take me to the Red Scorpion Caves. Are you sure you want to uh, want me to give you directions to the Red Scorpion Caves? I can't go, but I can show you the way. Yes. Okay, so we're just here now. Right, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game, because... Uh, Red Scorpion Cave Entrance. Right, so what do we have here? You see bones. You see the bones of a large two headed cow. Right, I guess that's a Brahmin then. Oh. I'll equip my knife as a backup, but I definitely think I'm going to go be going with uh, okay. So fully loaded. Try something. End combat. I'm really glad that worked, but I kind of hoped you'd have frickin' lit it. Uh, Red Scorpion was hit for three points of damage. Oh no, there's two of them. Right. Well, take that. And... Uh, run away. Uh, you were hit for five points of damage. I have a feeling I'm going to die here. The Red Scorpion missed. Red Scorpion was hit for three points of damage. Uh, oh yeah, I've still got that. Can I... Why is it not lighting? I thought those would light up the cave. You don't have enough action points to use your inventory. Okay. You were hit for six points of damage. You were hit for five points of damage. I'm definitely going to die. I thought I was being all clever. You were hit for five points of damage, you were hit for three points of damage. I didn't even mean to shoot that one. You have been poisoned. You were hit for one point of damage. The red scorpion missed. Uh, you missed. Can I... 
punch. Uh, I'm just going to wait my turn, and I'm dead. Your life so. ends in the wasteland. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Uh, load game. Right. I'm gonna have a quick look. How do you how to use a flare? How to use a flare? Fallout one. Right, so here we go. How to use a flare in Fallout 1. A flare is a thrown weapon in Fallout and Fallout 2, Fallout, Fallout 2 and Fallout Tactics. Flares can come in handy in low light situations. If thrown or dropped, any target standing in the vicinity of the flare is are treated as if in daylight, making them a lot easier to hit with ranged attacks if darkness is causing penalty to accuracy. Although a flare will normally inflict up to one damage when hitting an enemy, aiming at the eyes slash head and scoring a critical hit can blind, knock out, or even instantly ki kill requires better criticals perk. Regardless of their armor, when combined with living anatomy, flares will do at least 5 damage to any organic target since they only need 1 AP to throw, except it costs me 2 AP. Uh, this will allow characters with an agility of 10 to outperform many starting weapons in terms of damage dealt per turn. Fallout, they can be sold for 35 bucket caps. Uh, quite helpful early on for players who have little money. Okay, so apparently we can light a flare. So if I do that, go to the flare. Nope, I can target, I can't light. So, I'm not close enough. Uh, in turn. Right. Let's. Oh. So, I'm so terrible at throwing, I can't even hit it in the eyes, and I have a zero. Per Sent chance to hit it in the head. You critically m missed and lost your next turn. Great. And then was hit for three points of damage. Okay, can I hit this guy? I can. Hit I've got eleven chance to hit it in the eyes or the head. Uh, let's try the head. I missed. Um, need five action points. I don't have an ac enough action point. Okay, I will just end my turn. Uh, okay, you were hit for eight. You were hit hit for eight points. Great. Uh, let's just shoot you. And then can I go into my inventory now and swap that for a knife? I can see the flare, but I obviously can't light the flare. How do you light a flare? Um, I was hit for eight points, and then I was hit for five points. I'm going to die again. Uh, the scorpion was hit for seven points. And then... And I missed. Ah, well, I was hit for three points, and I died. Your bones are scraped clean by the desolate wind. Your bones oh. will now surely die. Thank you. As you have. 
least they won't at least I won't care that they died. Right. I thought I was being really clever with the whole thing. I don't think I'm good enough to be in here, to be honest. How big is this cave? Oh, this is bloody huge and there's loads of them down here. There's one over here as well. And that was me taking on one there and I didn't manage to do very well. So I don't think now is the time. Because they kept talking about, oh, you know, um... the garden oh this is the garden you yeah, know they made it look so far away from the Brahmin pens I just assumed right right barter with me Seth uh, you've got 42 if I put one in there, and I say, give me, give me all your caps, but then only give me 35. Do you agree? Okay, that's a good trade. So I now have 35 caps. What would you pay for this book? If you only have seven, 200 for the book. Oh, oh God. Well. Um, nope, nope, nothing else, thank you. What about you? I need help finding Tandy. I hope you find her, she's like a little sister to me. I think it would be a raid group who took her. Isn't she down there? Find out as much information as you can. That's all for now. Wasn't Tandy down here? Yeah, that's Tandy. Hello again. What can I help you with now? Uh, tell me about nothing. Well... Right, so that's Tandy. I met her, but for some reason you're telling me she's been taken by raiders. Katrina. Right, so let's let's talk to Katrina again. What does Katrina say? Uh, I need help finding Tandy. I hope you find her. She's like a little sister to me. I think it was one of the raider groups who took her. She's in the back of the base. Find out as much information about them as you can and equip yourself before you go after them. But don't be so quick to fight. Even they will sometimes listen to reason. Um, where can I get better equipment? You will have to do like... we. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, great. So why, why, okay, so Tandy's getting kidnapped at some point, or supposed to have already been kidnapped, but hasn't been. Right, can I trade with, I can't trade with you, because I can't, inter I can get into conversation with you, so therefore I can trade with you. Barter. Oh, you've got exactly 35, so you can just buy... You can just buy this flare. Excellent. So now I've got 70... I've got 70 caps. Uh, thank you. Can I trade with Tandy? As you can tell, this is going swimmingly. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm just kind of... Hello again. What can I help you with now? I just want to barter with you. You only have ten.
How much would you give me for a knife? Forty. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not giving you a knife for half the price. Um, Razlo, you look like a man who has money. You've got your own house, so I'm sure we can come to some kind of an arrangement. Uh, oh, I'm trying to kill the red scorpions. Do you have anything to help? Why would I be able to help you with red scorpions? I'm a doctor, not a warrior. For that, you should see Aradesh, or even Tandy, or her boyfriend Seth. Leave me be. <laughs> I need something for their poison. If I had a sample of their poison, I could create a cure. Right, that's great. Do you have anything to sell? You're 46. That will put me well over the amount of caps I need to get Ian on side. I didn't mean to do that. Barter. Uh, knife. I don't need two knives. He says, I bet you Ian's going to come with no weapons. Offer. That's a good trade, is it? Is it really? Because I could really do with um, a follower. Please do not take my things. Okay, that's fair enough. Right, Ian. I've got a hundred caps now. Nice to see you too. Ian, can you help me out a bit? Deal. Let's go. It'll be good to get back into the action. Right, so... I talk to you. What weapons are you skilled with? I'm a good shot with just about any sort of pistol, or I can use a submachine gun too. I don't... I also know how to handle a knife. Um... Barter. Right, so you've got 10 mil rounds. How much is one? Oh my god. Ten, what, oh, that's 24 10 mil rounds. Um, how about you just give me 40 caps? Okay, can you give me directions to the hub and thingy? Uh, I need to change formation. Uh, stay close. Right, shall we... Uh I'm going to give the Rad Scorpions another go. With Ian. <laughs> uh, firstly, save game. Rad Scorpion Cave Entrance. Yes. It's, it's the same place, but this time with Ian. Oh. Let's pull out a gun.
And then run away. Oh, he's got a 10 mil pistol. Oh, perfect. Oh, Ian. <laughs> you god of a man. Minus 20. Okay, I'm just going to end my turn. Let the red scorpion come to me. And by come to me, I mean come to Ian. Uh, yes, take that. Right, well, who knew? Ian the badass. Oh, level. Character. Right, what do you get at level? You get skill points. Well, I definitely feel like I'm just going to pile these into small guns. Since I gave up my knife. Um... Put one into speech just to get it over the 50 point thing. But we managed to do that fight without taking any damage. Right, I'm not feeling massively brave, but I am feeling like we can take on this guy on his own. Then I think I might call the episode so next time we can dive into the, the Scorpion Horde. Alright, 27. If I was to do an aim shot. Right, shoot. And turn. Scorpion's marching towards me. I missed, which is great. <laughs> Add a boy, Ian. Uh, yeah, no, end combat. Let's go loot its tail. Um... I feel like I feel like Ian. I feel so bad for Ian because he's now been hired, and he must be like, "Who the fuck is this guy? He's hired me, taking me to this Scorpion cave that all the villagers in my village have been moping about, got me to kill all of the scorpion is now scorpions is now running around like a madman." Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's save it here. Rad Scorpion Cave with Ian Heart. <laughs> uh, right. Thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and until next time, have a nice day.